It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from McKellar and it's a bottle of this Spontan Sweet Cherry coming in at 7.7% ABV. There you go. The beer's been brewed at the Proof Brewery in Belgium. Uh, McKellar seems to like brewing there. I've drunk a lot of his beers recently and they all seem to be brewed at the Proof. So we've got a nice gold bottle cap on this one. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. The oversized bottle caps always seem to have a bit of trouble with them. They never seem to come off cleanly. So, expecting a lot of cherry, lots of fizz. There you go. Look at that carbonation. So it's a, a naturally fermented beer. That's where this kind of spontans comes from in the name. It's spontaneous. It's going to be very sweet with lots of cherries. I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. Um, I've been drinking a lot of this style of beer recently. Um, and I had one last week which was just unbelievable. So I'm expecting some good things from this McKellar beer. So it's a one finger, slightly off-white, cherry coloured head. So it's, it's white with a little bit of coloured cherry in the head. Lots of carbonation. Rise into the top of this glass it still it still looks like an ale some of these beers are absolutely bright orange bright red but this one it's got a little bit of a kind of a brown tinge to it with that lovely cherry red color let's dive into the all important aroma then hot oh, blimey that smells absolutely wonderful. And surprisingly, I'm picking up more of the, the spontaneous yeast, that lovely kind of funky aroma from the yeast there. But when you mix that beer up, when you wash that beer around in a glass and get it to your nose, there is an abundance of cherry in there. It smells great. I'm going to dive in. Cheers. Wow! Drinking a few of these recently, you kind of almost have a second sense of what you're going to expect from a beer. But this was just totally different. I was expecting bags full of sweet, sharp cherry up front. But what I got was loads and loads of kind of horse blanket. Loads and loads of kind of bready, biscuity flavours. And as I mentioned earlier, you get a sense of that by that almost brown colour to the beer. That's your malts. Oh, that really is delicious. It really is. Let me, let me dive in again. So a really sharp beginning, loads of carbonation, lifting the beer, opening your eyeballs, almost peeling your eyeballs back with, with lovely kind of sharpness from that cherry. But then this absolutely fantastic calming. It's like you get that initial, that big buzz, that boom from the carbonation, the boom from that kind of cherry sharpness, the sourness. And then that multi horse blankety flavour comes through on the back end. It's like walking through a maize field in the wind with a maize blowing in the wind. It's just, I don't know why I'm saying this, it probably just reminds me of, of, of that situation. And at 7.7% 7 .7 ABV, you just never think it. It's just, 
it's it's got a, a, an element of alcohol to it. Of course, it has. It's seven point seven percent ABV. But the beer hides it so well. There's so many other things going on in the beer that you don't really think about the ABV. Where would I drink this? That's the question I ask myself lately. Where would I like to crack a bottle of this open? And to be honest, I think this would be an ideal kind of family gathering, fam family gathering beer. It's, a, it's for that occasion. Friends, family, oh, look what I got, let's try this. Pour in a drop in each person's glass. You know, it, you, you have the odd comment every now and again of, oh, um, I only drink wine. I love wine. It's, um, it's all over the TV, all over the radio. All the celebrities, chefs are drinking it. Got to drink wine. Not going to drink beer. And then you kind of crack something like this open and just share it out and show your beer wisdom. Show them that beer is just not your yellow fizzy water that a lot of people, not so much everyone these days, because craft beer is in a bit of a boom, there's a lot of people drinking it now, but it's getting away from that mindset of yellow fizzy water, 3.8%, drink 20 cans of it. And yeah, that, that would be my ideal kind of place for this beer, would be a nice party beer. Crack it open, show your friends and family. So... Oh, it's really good. Brewed... Uh, I bought it in Brewdog. I nearly said Brewdog then. Um, I bought this in Brewdog in Cardiff. Um, my wife did, actually, for me. Uh, Spontan Sweet Cherry by McKellar. Brewed up to proof. Yeah, it's a kicker. It's really good. Sour Ale brewed the sweet cherries and aged in oak barrels. That's what that little bit of a flavour is at the back end. That little oaky woody flavour. Really, really good beer. Rating for Spontan Sweet Cherry gets a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 for Real Ale Craft Beer. Top draw beer from a top draw brewer. Celebrity kind of, he's a bit of a celebrity now, McKellar. Um, if you see his beers, try them. They're really good. He travels all over America, all over Europe. Brewing in different breweries. I believe he was in Poland recently. Um, yeah, give it a try. Great beer. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.